So my name is Mustafa Yusuf Shahid and I'm going to be introducing my uh, project which is support our student service with SOS service and from the name uh, it's a student support uh, office that offers its services for students to support them throughout their academic journey and to support them in other stuff that's not related to their academic uh, journey but to facilitate the learning through supporting in different kind of problems. So the original plan was to start with IRB approval and end in October with poster preparation and student satisfaction and doing um, an online gate through our work. But unfortunately COVID-19 and the quarantine happened and we had to um, reproduce this plan and I had a new plan uh, to work with. So first, um, I had to add a motivational campaign during May as students were stuck at home uh, in the quarantine they, they needed some motivation to continue the work and what is better than having their um, colleagues stories to inspire them so uh, we initiated through the, our Facebook page which we created um, a campaign where students tell their stories and tell um, through a hashtag called ASU uh, Med um, superheroes were students with uh, inspiring stories they tell their stories and uh, other students react to it and it was very successful and we postponed we focused on the Facebook as it it was an emergency situation and we needed to reach the student as soon as possible and we postponed the establishment of the online gate to August and September and this is what, what we're working on now and that's what happened during our work so what we accomplished so far first we have our facebook page and we have like 2000 two uh, uh, people following it and we had the motivational campaign we mentioned earlier i mentioned earlier and it was um and under the hashtag asu medicine superheroes and it reached about 3600 people and we also published two videos for students with disabilities like color blindness and uh, low uh, low vision. These students uh, didn't know that Windows 10 or the Android devices they have uh, can um, be tailored to suit their abilities. And um, we posted this to, to, to show them how to use the disability features and we had great feedback and this is one of our students that was really happy with that he can see stuff that he, do, he didn't know that he can see before. And uh, we also did a, did a video with the psychiatry department on how to deal with stress during the pandemic. And we were very lucky at the project that during the pandemic, it was a chance actually for us to grow and to reach more st students. Although we didn't do the original plan with the online gate and on all, uh, on all this stuff, but we did the Facebook page and we focused on that and it had a a great impact on the student during the pandemic. So what challenges do we have? Shift to online with less available time for on-site support. This is, we cannot support students like direct support. So we have to shift to online. And the lessons we learned um, that sometimes you have to do, yani, you have to do, all you have to do is tailor your ideas to suit the situation and you must have plan B. And this is what how we shifted from the online gate to the Facebook page. So what's need what needs to be done? A comprehensive online service, not just a Facebook page, and this includes the, uh, and this to be integrated in the uh, in, uh, the college uh, website, uh, including the guides for the students for different services, application forms for different services, links to other services like anti harassment unit. Uh, service for foreign students, service for students with disabilities, and feedback forms, all this to be integrated into the university web website, and that would be a great addition. And uh, by this, I came to the end of, um, of this presentation, and I hope you can support all your students all the time, and thank you.